Home of Christian Ch Standard Bible, Numbers chapter 7. On the day Moses finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed and consecrated it and all its furnishings, along with the altar and all its utensils. After he anointed and consecrated these things, the leaders of Israel, the heads of their ancestral houses, presented an offering. They were the tribal leaders who supervised these registration. They brought as their offering before the Lord six covered carts and twelve oxen, a cart from every two liters from an ox and an ox from each one, and presented them in front of the tabernacle. The Lord said to Moses, Accept these from them to be used in the work of the tent of meeting, and give this offering to the Levites, to each division according to their service. So Moses took the carts and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave the Gershonites two carts and four oxen corresponding to their service, and he gave the Merites four carts and eight oxen corresponding to their service under the direction of Ithamar, son of Aaron the priest. They did not give any to the Gohathites, since their responsibility was service related to the holy objects carried on their soldiers. The leaders also presented their dedication gift for the altar when it was anointed. The leaders presented their offerings in front of the altar. The Lord said, told Moses, each, <clears throat> each day have one leader present his offering for the dedication of the altar. The one who presented his offering on the first day was Nashon, son of Adinadab, from the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing three and one quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one bowl, one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male offering, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, <clears throat> one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Nashan, son of Amidadab. On the second day, Nathaniel, son of Zuar, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. As his offering, he presented one silver dish weighing three and one quarter pounds, and one silver basin weighing one and one one and three quarter pounds, measuring by the standard sanctual she sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, and five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Nathaniel, son of Zur. On the third day, Eliab, son of Halon, leader of the Zebulonites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing three and one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male lamb, goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering for Eliab, son of Helon. On the fourth day, Eliezer, son of Shedur, leader of the Reubenites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and one quarter pounds, and one silver basin weighing th one and three quarter pounds, measuring by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil, for the grain offering, one bull, one gold bull weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a, fi a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Eli Eliezer, son of Shadur. On the fifth day, Shem Shalumiel, son of Zerish Shaddai, leader of the Simeonites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bull weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering. One male goat for a sin offering and two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Shem. Shalumiel, son of Zerushaddai. On the sixth day, Eliashaf, son of Deol, son of the Gadites, presented an offering. 
His offering was one silver dish weighing three and one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and the two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Elisha, son of Duo. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amihud, leader of the Ephraimites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a goat, one, one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Elishama, son of Amahud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pez, Pedahazur, leader of the Manassites, offered, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, and five male, five male breeding goats, five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Gamaliel, son of Pedazor. On the ninth day, Abidan, son of Gideoni, leader of the Benjaminites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds, and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Abiham, Abidan, son of Gideoni. On the 10th day, Ahiezer, son of Aminashadai, leader of the Danites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and a quarter pounds, one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard, standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering. One male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Ahiezer, son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pagiel, son of Okran, leader of the Asherites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and one quarter pounds, and one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bowl weighing four ounces, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male greeting goats, and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Pagiel, son of Okrim. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enan, leader of the Naphtalites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three and one quarter pounds, one silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel, both of them weighing full of fine flour mixed with oil. For grain offering, one bull weighing four ounces full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two bulls, five rams, five male breeding goats, and five male lambs for a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Ahira, son of Anun. This was the dedication of the gift of the leaders of Israel from the altar when it was anointed. Twelve silver dishes, twelve silver basins, and twelve gold bowls. Each silver dish weighed three and one quarter pounds, and each basin weighed one and three quarter pounds. The total weight of the silver articles was 60 pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel. The twelve gold bowls full of incense, each weighed four ounces, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel. The total weight of the gold bowls was three pounds. All the livestock for the burnt offering totals 12 bulls, 12 rams, and 12 male lambs a year old, with their grain offerings and 12 male bulls, 12 goats for the sin offering. 
All the livestock for the fellowship sacrificed totaled 24 bulls, 60 rams, 60 male breeding goats, and 60 male lambs a year old. This was the dedication gift for the altar after it was anointed. When Moses entered the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking from him to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony. From between the two cherubim, he spoke to him that way.